after the uh, the conference, uh, IGN, like I said, did a, a, a fantastic, fantastic job on the coverage. And um, th just information was rising up about, you know, they were asking them questions to the guys that were in the show uh, th via phone and Facebook or whatever and see what other information they were gathering. So you guys notice that they never touch the uh, always online feature. All right. Uh, there was the, there were some comments after said that the the, the machine is not gonna uh, is not gonna have that. So if you're not online, um, you can play the games, which is a good thing. I mean that would have sunk them. But then after that, there was talk about it that they were kind of clouding the issue, and there were some uh, one guy I guess asked, I don't know, one of these guys from Microsoft, and it says yeah, after like you can you can play it offline, and but after 24 hours it would shut off. So, are you telling me you still want to control this? But right now, uh, what I got, what I gotta say is, some of all this information that was released is is it's a big cloud right now. Nobody knows what's going on. I think Microsoft is hiding all the main things. Um, so we don't know yet what's going on till E3. Um, like some of the issues, there there's a huge amount of issues with this thing, like the uh, the sharing the games. Uh, once you buy a game, you're going to get a code, and it, it forces you to install on your hard drive. Um, and then um, and then you won't be able to share that with anybody else. So you can't take your game to your body's house and play it over there. Uh, it is ridiculous how they're trying to control this. Uh, if I paid a, 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 a money for an $80 game, I would like to do whatever I want with it. I would like to sell it to whoever I want, to give it to whoever I want. Um, it's crazy how they're trying to control this. Um what else? Just looking through my notes here. Uh, the connect always on thing. Uh, I don't want to use that thing. Uh, and I'll tell you a quick example of this. My friend has a Samsung smart TV and it has all the features, the move features and the and the voice activation features. It is He used that for maybe two minutes and he uninstalled all those features because even when he was watching movies and stuff like that, um, some of the voice recognition would fire up like volume or change his channel in the middle of a movie. Um, it is ridiculous the motion sensor stuff like you don't you know You just want to grab a remote and change your channel You don't want to be yelling at the screen at, for it to recognize your voice or to to see your movements All right, I think it's ridiculous that you have to use that at all times Connect uh, I would not spend the money on that. I mean, it's gonna come with the Xbox, but I would the, I hope there's a way to disconnect that thing and not use it. I mean, it'd be cool to utilize in some of the video games Yes, it's fantastic, but I don't want to use the thing for everything, and I don't want to be forced to use it. So uh, there you have it. Um, the uh, the this was the the, um, uh, the 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 unveiling of the Xbox One. Um, there there's so much stuff. Uh, the, to me, where's the specifications of the of the console? There was no specifications whatsoever. Um, I wanted to hear about what processor it is listen guys I, I put I put my I put compute I I uh, I know I have a knowledge of, of computers and all the model uh, models parts it needs to run and all that so I wanted to hear specifications I my rig my computer is very powerful and I want to see how it compares to my computer so not giving me specifications only eight gigs of RAM of what type of RAM you know is it high-end or, or is it low um, it looks like it's gonna be only a 500 gig um, hard drive uh, I want to hear more on the lines of a one terabyte you know this, this is technology this is this is current gen and this is like futuristic stuff right don't give me 500 gig that's past give me talk about terabytes now that sounds so much better terabyte right so um, they didn't give us much information now it's they all left it to like okay you know e3 is when we're gonna finally do that I I think they could have left um, the this whole unveiling for e3 um, compared to the PlayStation 4 a review, I mean, PS, PS4 then not really a real console, but they gave us the specifications and the technical aspects of what this thing is going to do for us in the future for gaming. So I think we were all disappointed uh, with this conference. Me as a video gamer and owner of Xbox and PS3, uh, we got we got nothing in, in return. So um we're gonna have to wait. We're gonna have to wait to uh, um, E3 and see what they. Uh, I can't wait to see the PS4 and see what Xbox is gonna offer with the new games.
And I just want to give you my uh, final thoughts on the conference and the reveal of the Xbox One. Uh, truly, and this is from the bottom of my heart, uh, not being a bias and a fanboy and of you know I am a fan of video gaming I like all video gaming and this is what's gonna be hard for me because if if one of these consoles is no good you know I, I won't be getting it but they're still gonna have the titles the exclusive the exclusive titles I wanna play and just by getting one console and favoriting one ca console I'm gonna miss out on their exclusive content, so it's really hard. I like to have them all so I can play all their exclusive content. But right now, with this conference, with this Xbox One conference, Microsoft has not sold me into this, not sold me into the Xbox One. Um, I don't wanna buy a social media machine. Uh, I don't do social media. I, I have Facebook just so I can track some of the uh, websites I have uh, and talk to some friends and some some friends and my family is the most important thing uh, in Colombia. Um, but other than that, I have I don't do Facebook 24. I don't share my whole life on there. Um, I don't need the Netflix. Uh, I mean, uh, my PlayStation 3 does it already. Xbox 360 does it already. Um, I don't need to watch sports. I don't need to watch TV on that thing. I, I do have a, a cable provider here that I have a box, a PVR box and all that. I don't need a machine that does it. I want a super gaming machine that will wow me in graphics and sound and controls and, and exclusive uh, new IPs and titles. That's what I want. Uh, so far, uh, my money is on PlayStation 4 um, because... I mean, it looks like it's going to do a good job for video gaming, and that's what their conference targeted was the video gaming community, and we're going to make awesome video games, and this is what our game's going to look like with Disney technology. Uh, at the Xbox conference, just pretty much told me, uh, you know, if you want to go chat with your family, Skype with your friends, and talk all day and not play a single game on it, that's what that's what they advertise on their conference. Um but of course now they're saying, oh no, we told you this, we just gotta wait to E3 and then we're gonna do the full unveiling. Um, I hope they come back and they bring us all about gaming and all what it could do with the gaming uh, and then we'll see. But for now, I think uh, PlayStation 4 delivered a better conference and they, di they didn't even show the console yet. So uh, I guess everything's writing on E3 now, uh, June 10th I believe, uh, <laughs> four days before the Man of Steel, I can't wait. Uh, so it's going to be a really exciting couple days there in June. So um, look forward to that. And um, hey, uh, we'll see you around the E3 uh, and talk more about it.